Morning, Massey Dave, Saturday morning. Busy week, I'll do an update. I did put a little video out yesterday that um, front crown wheel and pinion out the front diff of the 1200. Anyway, in reply to Father Phil and Farmer Phil, they're um, talking about their 1200 the other day with the diff lock and the link arms. I'll show you how it does work. Well, this is on 1250, but predominantly the same as a 1200, other than it is plumbed up differently for the actual supply for the hydraulics. We have a valve here, which is supplied by oil pipe. And the switch they're on about, the little white one there, is just a warning switch. So when the diff's engaged, obviously that little plunger comes out and engages the diff, which then the switch there, which is switched on earth, will then trigger the light on the dashboard to say that the diff lock is engaged. When you take your foot off the pedal, obviously the the valve releases it well, the oil goes back the valve returns on the spring it's pushing it out then the switch goes to um open circuit and the light goes out but if the front one's stuck on the light will stay on because it's wired on a common earth so as long as they're both disengaged the light will be out if they're both engaged the light will be on reference the link arms obviously there's a lever here, they beefed it up a bit on the 1250, but lift that up and then the extender bit comes out, which allows you to hitch up machinery a bit easier. So you can just get close to it, pull those out, put it on, then reverse back to the implement, that goes in and locks in place. So these are a bit more beefier than what the 1200 was, it was just a little little plate basically but they put these big lugs on so you can have a sensible lift quite easy to take apart if you can get it apart it's under a bolt there disconnect that the whole lot will come out and then uh, there's a spring in the bar inside which then locks it in place so that is how that works but as far as the 1250 the plumbing for them on the 1200 it's fed by from the back end Whereas the 1250 is fed from the front end. Still the same principle though. You have the button on the floor there, which the lever's not on yet. You engage that, lets the oil flow through to both valves, front and back. Whereas the 1200, it was supplied from the back, going to the valve. So, a bit different. I say purely the back end on the 1250 is just the back end. Hydraulics for the lift arms, and the PTO clutch. On the 1250, all the hydraulics on the front, the steering is on its own circuit, whereas the 1200 was diff lock, um, sorry, steering, multi-power, fed by the one pump over there. 1250, the steering is on its own pump with its own tank. And then this side on the 1250, you've got the other pump, which does your diff lock, your multi-power and your auxiliary hydraulics on the back so yeah they did change things around a little bit saturday morning job done skip lorry paperwork done filled out go back to the customer pick me van up oh the sun's out marvelous better than peeing down the rain right let's see if we can get this out there's only a few bolts on because it was put back together briefly to get it here so uh, we'll get those off, get the wheels off, and then we can hopefully start looking at the axle. And then we can get this uh, chassis, give it a good steam clean off, and clean up, ready for uh, shop blast in another day. Ta-da! It's apart. Made a change for something to come apart easily. Right, we can get that in there and see what we can find. I say, I know this side was a problem. Because he wrote some little word on there. Well then, Mike. But we'll, uh, he'll sort it out. We'll strip it apart. And there we have <clears throat> one chassis. Pretty well all stripped out. Just a couple of towing points to take off the front. A couple of bushes to go. out. We can give it a good clean off. Steam clean. See what we're working with. Somewhere here. It should be. I we'll have to clean it up. There should be the serial number stamped in here, but sometimes it does. The early ones, it wasn't. But we'll have a closer look later. Well, that's had a good clean. 
think we got pretty well all the crap off. It's obviously had a bit of a repaint at some time. You see where steam cleaned it. Another layer of paint on there that's coming off. Anyway, when it shot blasted, be back to bare bones. Well, that was a bastard to get out. Didn't want to move yesterday. Tried and tried. Got the gas on it. Heated up round here. Then tried it. No. Come in this morning. Put it on. Snick. Undone it came. This is out. Now we can fit in that bit for part of the heater pipe worked to go to the cab. Well, we've got the front axle up in the air. I'll start undoing bits and pieces, get that trumpet lifted off, and we'll see what's happening inside. So, staff are busy uh, playing with nuts. Ooh, the diff's coming out as well. Needs a bit of twig tweaking. Nice. No wonder it had locked up. But you had to take it apart to get the discs out to uh, get it to actually roll. That's a nice mess. But at least there's no oil contamination, so at least the seal's good. Where's that? That's in the end of there, isn't it? It's that oil seal there is holding it but that's going to want some serious cleaning up. Never mind, sure we can do it. Years of crud and dirt. Lovely. Nice load of uh, grease and dirt dry, but at least that is dry down in there. There's no oil contamination in whatsoever. We'll have a closer look, see if that'll clean up. That definitely needs a clean up. And definitely needs brake discs. We're we got Henry the Hoover coming now. Suck all the crap out of it. Have to choose the noise. Somebody's hoovering out the. Uh, Crap out of that. Just looking at the dip out, the dip out Well, you could say, oh, cock. That is not looking good at all. And there's bits of metal. And the crane wheel. A chunk out of there, a chunk out of there. A little bit off of there. A little chunk out of there. Bit off of there. Oh dear. Hmm. Not good. Okay, the salvage is this. I want a good clean up. It's certainly better than it was. Well, no, it's the rest of the game, right? It's just a good clean surface. So we've got the diff lock side apart. Other than the bit of oil that's spilt and taking the carrier plate off, that's dry as well. So no oil contamination, say, other than what I spilt. So we'll try and get that out. But the trouble is, this pin is seized in at the moment. We need to try and wiggle it out. And this one's cleaned up quite well. And the first one, that's cleaned up well. Just the other bit today. That's the first side we took apart and we've cleaned that up and that's come up pretty good as well i think i'll just get shot faster on the go also get this seal out so you've got to be replaced and give that a clean up in there because i did have a delivery of um fine crushed glass for shot blasting whole palette of the stuff there we go that's a good update
Well, we've got the pinion ape. There's a closer look at it. Definitely, uh, yeah, something's had a good chew on that. Always big chunk missing out of there. Not good. I'll have to look in the stores, see if I've got, uh, got another one. There's the other bit. But there we go. Shit happens. Well, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, click the like and subscribe button. Tell your friends. Be appreciated. I'll catch you next time. Have a good weekend. Bye for now.